Hey, what's going on guys? Eric here from Eric and Miles. And today we're gonna be checking out a disposable camera. I know it's not like the most interesting thing, but I just bought one for like $10 at my local CVS and I wanted to play around with it. So let's check out this video and test the limits of these things. Ha! <laughs> Airball. Yeah, 2020 is like off like so much bad shit has happened to So the first thing I noticed was um yeah. these have like a weird orangish tint to them, kind of. When they're really expo overexposed or like really bright in shots, they have like this weird orange tint to them. And that's not bad or good, it's just something I noticed. Now look at me. All right, and these shots. Um, I don't really know what I expected, but in real life, it really wasn't that dark out. So I thought, you know, I'm sure it'll be dark, but it'll be able to handle itself, right? I was wrong. This camera sucks with low light, and I don't really know what else I expected. I should have been expected. So I ended up actually having so much fun with that first disposable camera that I went to CVS again and bought a double pack of disposable cameras and then played around with one more. Uh, we went to St. Paul, Miles, Ethan, and I went to St. Paul and shot a couple of shots there. Oh yeah, and also I wanted to show that um, I include these underexposed shots just to show like how these cameras perform in that situation. Um, yeah, just to give perspective because I don't want to only show the good shots. I'm really testing the limits and showing you guys how these shots are. <laughs> We're all mad. You're mad. back. <laughs> This is another shot that I thought it's would turn out fine because it was super bright, but I was wrong. Turned out like crap. Really wish I would have brought more than just my disposable camera because look at all these trees. Tree gang. Tree gang. Um, oh, well, this will really test what a disposable camera can do, I guess, but... Uh, <laughs> Got one shot left on this thing. One shot left. 
to make it count, you know, because I'm going to be pissed off if I take it and it turns out bad. He's, he's, he's taking the last photo of me with that. So after those two days of shooting, I packed up my film cameras, or I packed up my disposal cameras, went to the post office, and shipped them off to be developed. Godspeed. All right, so obviously you saw those shots. They're not gonna be the best shots that you've ever taken. It's on a $10 camera, what'd you really expect? Um, the lens is plastic, the ISO is fixed, the flash isn't the best either. It's just fun, you know? I really enjoyed the first camera I shot, so I went back and bought two more, and I still have I still have one more to shoot. I don't know if I'll make a video out of this, I might make a mini one, but I just have a lot of fun with these things. There's something special about not really worrying about the composition or anything, and just shooting for fun, um, not carrying around an entire camera, and just going out and having fun. And like I said, obviously these shots aren't going to be the best thing in the entire world. There is a lot of wrong with them. Like, for one, there's a lot of warping going on, like rounded edges and weird stuff, like straight lines that are rounded because of the lens isn't, is plastic. Um, it's obviously not going to be made the best. It's low light, it's complete garbage. It's flash, it's all right. I mean, it's great if you're like within five feet. It says 10 feet, but that's kind of a stretch. <laughs> you're really not gonna get shots more than eight feet away. So yeah, these are my favorite shots from the day and from the two cameras I shot. Um, it was really fun. I really recommend it. Um, I don't know how to explain it other than like, it's just fun. I went, we went to St. Paul, it was such a chillax day. I went with my phone and a disposable camera. I had my phone in my pocket and a disposable camera in my pocket too. And that's all I had. I didn't have to carry around my backpack. No, I didn't have to carry around five extra rolls of film. Just had fun, you know, with, with some buddies. And I think that's kind of special, you know. Recently, when I go out, I'm fixed on my photography and video, and I want to get, like, the best of everything. But when I went like this, I just had fun. I ended up getting some decent shots, too, you know. And that's really... I don't want to say that's what photography is about, because photography is about getting the best shot possible. But that's what disposable cameras are about, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I really recommend doing this if you haven't yet. Disposable cameras are just another, a different, they're a different kind of, I hate using this word unironically, but they're kind of a different kind of like vibe. I know, I hate it too, but it's the only word that I could fit. Maybe jive, it's a different, whole different jive. But um, yeah, just fun. That's the best I can explain it. These things are fun and uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. If you guys liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Consider sharing with a friend if you thought it was cool or helpful. Peace.